friends good morning this is the second part of the video in first part we have learned how to configure virtual box so in first part i have shown you we have added this iso image or uh, linux iso image and now we are going to be install this uh, uh, this uh, os so choose the correct right tab and click on start now your vm will start for the installation so oh this is 25th december so merry christmas to all now here <coughs> we will hit enter we will select install and upgrade an existing system click hit enter just little will wait uh, it will check all the pre request all the hardware and uh, hardware setting hardware compatibility now in this screen we will skip <coughs> this tab uh, you can choose uh, arrow key right arrow key to skip and hit enter again click enter hit enter now this screen will appear in this screen you have to choose next again next again next now choose basic storage device says and click next examining the storage now here you have to choose your host name here is local host dot local domain now you have to erase local host and choose your name i will take my case ora errors ora or errors and now configure network select system etho and click edit this is mandatory don't forget to click connect automatically now choose the tab ip port setting and automatic dhcp address only now apply and close and click next now you, we have to choose time zone in my case this is the india kolkata i will choose you can choose your accordingly click on next need to choose <coughs> root password i will take my root password r w o t root 123 and confirm password is r w o t root 123 and click next don't forget this password because otherwise you are not going to be to install anything you should remember the password and click next use anyway now we are going to be <coughs> make a partition so root partition and home partition so first we choose use all space and will click review and modify partition layout don't forget to click here otherwise it if we it will divide the uh, disk size accordingly uh, we need our requirement need according to our requirement so here you can see in home is taken almost 46 gb and root 51 gb so we don't need 46 gb home we'll select home first and go in the edit in edit button you can modify the size here i will take 5 gb 5 gb enough more than enough and if and all the partition come in the free 41 gb will come in the free so we will take this partition in the slash partition choose select slash slash partition and click on edit so it will so we can take maximum 92864 mb so we will take all 92864 click on okay now you can see free partition is removed and is added into the root partition click on next now write changes to the disk
here ext4 file system is going to be configured on all the partition in this screen choose next ok here we have to choose the rpms so click on the desktop click on the desktop and customize now next be careful no need to be click all the component we will take very basic component uh, which are mandatory we will click on check our compatibility libraries and at last system performance legacy unix compatibility networking performance tools one more security tool we will took in the next step server system administrator tool web services we don't want database don't want in system we will take system management in virtualization we don't want anything in desktop is okay application we don't want anything the main <coughs> main and very mandatory tool is development here we have to take development tool because if you will not enable this development tool so we we are in future we are not able to configure virtual box guest edition in this os the guest edition will help how to uh, that uh, how to we uh, uh, work with the host and uh, that machine uh, i will show you later so click on next and now checking dependencies in package selection installation and installation has been started you can see is in progress so guys <coughs> now installation has been started and it will take long time so for the time being i will pause this video for some time i will again resume this video when uh, the installation almost will be completed so for the time being i will pause this video okay as you can see the installation package almost completed 1203 of 1203 <coughs> the installation package now is it will take to for finalizing some time and after that we have to restart this vm and will configure for the desktop now you can just see the screen there is a option reboot we will reboot Oracle Linux Server 6.4 is getting started. Click on Forward. Select a Yes Agreement. Click on Forward. Choose No. I prefer to register at later time. forward no thanks i will connect later forward don't create any user here just go and click on forward yes just forward here it will ask for the finishing click on the finish and now you can see linux has been installed
only one thing is remaining I told you I will let you know first type the user root click and the password r w t root 123 don't show me again and now close so this time you have to come out from this vm so click right control and your mouse will be released from inside now come in the device in virtual box device click on the guest edition image ok ok and run this is mandatory until unless you will not install get, get edition that earlier you have more Save one folder inside that folder with this folder that will not mount inside the Linux. And after uh, after configuring this, you can easily move your mouse inside and outside. This time you can't come in outside, but after configuring, your mouse will come very easily to outside. now press uh, press return to close this window click uh, go inside and click hit enter now your vm has uh, linux has been installed and we will proceed with the grid installation so don't worry guys if you don't have linux iso image you will get this image in this uh, below in description this video come in the below and see the uh, uh, link click over there and you can download OS from there and don't forget to subscribe this channel for the further update I will post new and other practice videos in this channel so you will get easily all the updates via email Thank you. Bye bye. I'm going to close shutdown Linux.